Hi, and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna take a look at an email trigger event that we're gonna set up from an Excel sheet. This is a message I got on TikTok where the person asked, how do we set up emails? So if you have an Excel sheet and you mark your task as complete, the person wanted to send emails out directly. That's what we're gonna take a look at in this video. Very excited, so let's get started. All right, let me set it up for you. So here, we have a drop down, not started, in progress, and complete. So the email get displayed here, and I'm gonna walk you through the code, how you can set it up in your own sheet. So you right click on the sheet, view code, and then you need to write this code. And let me explain. First, you go on this worksheet here and select the change. That's the event that triggers whenever things happen in the sheet, whenever change happened in the sheet, it will execute this code. Then you're gonna DM out app as object and out mail as object. We're gonna DM job ID as string and task text as string. And then we're gonna set RNG status, that's our range, to this. We are gonna set it to intersect target made of range from C2 to C1000. You could also do it to lateral. Then we're gonna make sure the range status is not nothing because if it is, we exit sub, or if the count is bigger than one, we also exit sub. And here, here's where it checks in the range if the value is equal complete. And we're gonna do it with a lowercase. So we're gonna make the value lowercase, basically change all the letters from big to small in case there's a big letter, capital letters, then it still works. So if this is true, then we're gonna set the application enable events to false, basically removing updates and stuff like that. And then you get the, the job ID and the task description from the same row from column A and column B. You can see here, column A and column B. That's the job ID and that's the task description. Then after we're gonna set out app, create object and set out mail out app create item zero that's how you use these outlook objects and basically work with outlook from excel using vba then we're going to do a without mail so this is what the email contains who should we're going to send it to you can put your boss email here or whoever wants the status of the task when you complete it and then a text here job completed and we're gonna use the job ID. So in this case, job ID three here. And then just the text here, you can also fit that to your own need. The following job has been marked as complete. And then we're gonna do a VV control F and the job ID. So it basically skips a line in the email and write job ID and the correct job ID and skip a line again here and do the same with the tasks and use the task desk that we have defined. So in this case, it will be like call vendor complete. Job ID three, task call and complete. And here you're gonna display the email for testing. If you wanted to send it out after you've sent it, you just change it to send, dot send, literally like this. But we're not gonna do that here, but it's just for testing. Then you're gonna end your width here and set out mail to nothing and set out app to nothing and application enable events to true and end if or if statement here. That's it. That's how you do it. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you find it valuable. I have a lot of VBA tutorials here on my YouTube channel and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I also have videos there and I post multiple times on these platforms. And then I will see you in the next video.